we're live. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, like I tell you to prepare yourself and I don't have anything ready. I have the timer ready. That's about it. Like I have the timer all set up, but other than that, I am. Oh, and I have some juice. I have it in my mug. Excellent. What am I doing out of bed? I love it. No. That's awesome. I just have a simple glass of Coke here. Nothing fancy. Oh. Ah, refreshing. <laughs> Gotta reach to put it away. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So if I start randomly like dying, it's because there's giant dust bunnies all over my desk right now. Oh no, please don't. They're, they're mostly over there, so it should be fine. <laughs> I, I have like this giant like feather duster now, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna like start dusting things like, and it extends, so I'll be standing way over here, and it, <gasps> and dusting way over there, and be like, I'm safe. Oh, I love those. Right? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. <laughs> I uh, dusted the fan blades the other day, and it made me so happy, because oh. then I could turn my fan back on. <laughs> I feel like I need that because we have the room that we're in right now is my family room and we have a big fan up here and I I am short so I cannot reach that fan if I jump. So I I feel like I need like either a ladder or something but getting one of those extend a, extend a feather dusters or less yeah. less scary. <laughs> oh. okay. Do you want to jump right into a sprint or do you want to chit chat a little bit? First? Um I'm good for anything. You're not helpful, Haley. Why don't we jump into a sprint? How's that okay. sound? Okay, sounds good. All right, let me bring up my thing. Where is this? Right there. Being productive. I have to add it to the stream first. There we go. <laughs> so here's our timer. Excellent. All right. So is 20 minutes good, or do you want to do longer, shorter? Uh, 20 minutes is good for me. All right. So we'll go three, two, one, start.
trying to add us back to the thing. There we go. Hi, Haley. Hello. Oh, oh you unmuted my mic. Thank you. I did, yes. <laughs> I was supposed to say, did I do that? No, I couldn't have done that. I didn't click the button. <laughs> yeah, well, I saw you were talking. I was like, ah, unmute, unmute. <laughs> well, thank you. It's very so, kind of you. Lady Ria says, hi. Hi, Lady Ria. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to take this off so we can see our beautiful faces slightly bigger. So, how did you do? <laughs> <Not hide. laughs> I think I did good. Um, ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to push this over to the side. Why is this so big? Oh my goodness. Um, Why is this so big? <laughs> I'm just looking at my text and I'm just like, oh my God, it's huge. Let me see. Highlight, highlight. I did 230 words. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. I did 393. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And hi, Haley. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so I've officially done that character backstory so I can do all the edits with Grammarly and then send it to them and hopefully they don't want any changes so then I can just move on to the next thing. Awesome. And is this for your vampires, Paul? No, this is a character backstory for somebody else. Ah, awesome. Yeah, I want to do all the the edits for the Vampire's Fall on the laptop, only because um, I recently got Vellum, so every chapter that I'm editing, I'm putting onto Vellum after. That mm -hmm. way I can set up the, uh, the next proof copy and get it all ready and stuff. Cool. Yeah. What's a Vellum, may I ask? One second. You guys type so fast. Indeed we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because we know what we're typing. <laughs> you sort of, me, not so much. Yes. Oh, I see you got another I did. I bought it last week. See? Oh, oh God. There we go. <laughs> it's very cute. I know. It's really big, too. I love it. <laughs> it's so much tea or hot chocolate in it. Or right, now it has juice. So. Oh, lovely. Fruit Punch. Um, but anyways, Vellum is a uh, formatting software. You can format ebooks, paperback, and hardback through it. Ooh. Yeah. David bought it for me as an early birthday present, so I've been playing around with it. Aw, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And yes, yeah. your birthday is coming up. Ooh. It is. I know. It's in three weeks. Oh my gosh. Really? I know. Feels like still the beginning of April. I know. I know. I know it's only the second week of April, but in three weeks, it's going to be the first day of May. Whew. I know. Exciting. What are you planning for your birthday? Um, I'm planning on turning 26 and <laughs> not dying. <laughs> those, those are my goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are pretty good goals, yes. Are know, you guys going to be... Hmm? I feel like I just turned 25, but that was like a year ago. <laughs> Crazy. <Right. laughs> <laughs> I know I keep having to remind myself I'm just like I'm gonna be 23 next month or not next month but like in a few months and she's like oh I remember when I turned 23 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was excited to give birth to my daughter <laughs> Aww. yep yeah 18 I had Timmy 20 I had Hunter and then 23 I had Rosalind really I didn't. I couldn't remember when you had Rosalind. I thought it was. Um, I thought it was like closer to when you were like twenty two or twenty. But oh, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm three. <laughs> Very yeah. cute. Time is moving so fast. I know. I don't like it. Neither do I really make it move slower? <laughs> yes. We just kind of like need to stop everything. Keep it as it is just for now. Yeah. How are the little darlings anyway? They're good. You good? Yeah. yeah. I think the kids are outside right now. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. They're quiet, so I'm assuming they're outside with David, but I don't really know. I, I don't really picture. want to get up and check. So. <laughs> I saw your pictures on Facebook of them all playing outside. It's really cute. I know. I know I put them on Instagram and then like the next day I was like, oh, I should probably put these on Facebook for like family and friends to see. <laughs> so then I put them on Facebook and I was like, enjoy. Enjoy the pictures. 
there's a cool thing on Instagram where like it sets, you can set a uh, little setting on it. I'm very bad with words today. Please don't mind me. Um, but you can put a setting on it where it posts on Instagram and also on your Facebook if you link it through your Facebook. Yeah, but I have that linked to my business Facebook, and I don't really want to put, like, pictures of the kids on my business Facebook, so. I see. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have everything set up weird, so it's, like, my um, author Facebook page is only book and author-related things, and then, like, my author Instagram, which is my only Instagram, is, like, half mom Instagram and half... <laughs> Uh, author Instagram and then like TikTok is just like whatever the hell I put on TikTok and then YouTube I'm trying to do I don't even know anymore like it's writing and reading and I don't know anything I don't know. in between yeah it's just, <laughs> I try to keep it kind of book related um, uh, and then what other show, socials do I have Twitter is if I remember to post on Twitter um, but yeah, it's just weird. It's all over the place. I'm all over the place. I'm hoping I'm doing, I don't know if I'm going to record it today or next week, but I want to do a video of me like setting up my day planner and trying to organize my life <laughs> because I am always so unorganized. And that probably has something to do with my procrastination because I'm so unorganized. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. That'd be really cool to see how you like set up your organizer mm -hmm. and planner. And yeah. Yeah. I just knocked that mug off my tooth and now it hurts. Ooh. Ellie. I hate that. You know I what hate I hate it. even more than that? I hate mm -hmm. when your, your teeth accidentally scrapes against like, like something a fork? like like a fork or um we have mugs that are just like they're pottery made, so yeah. it's kind of like it gets rough a little bit. And then your yeah. teeth kind of just like against it and it's like Ugh, I don't like that feeling <laughs> oh now I have this like weird feeling in my gums oh I don't like it Haley <laughs> take another sip of juice it might help who did this to me oh, I'm, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry it's just those small little things that like that oh I know we don't like and it just it makes you like involuntarily shudder it's like <laughs> I don't know I'm just worried that way speaking of uh, shuddering I saw two spiders in the span of like nine hours of each other. One was like in the downstairs bathroom, and the other was in the upstairs bathroom. And I know it's not the same spider because I killed them both. But like, I was like, no, no, keep hibernating, spiders. No, this is not allowed. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I'm like, eh. and they're like barn spiders. So they're like the brown ones. And mm -hmm. they're like not big, but also not small. It's like, ugh. Yeah, but we just don't get them anywhere near me we have yeah. uh, we live out in the country and i'm sort of i guess i'm a hypocrite because i love being outside but i hate bugs and spiders moths and butterflies and caterpillars caterpillars <laughs> caterpillars <laughs> caterpillars uh, i like those any other bug no mm -mm. yeah and it was so funny we were out on the front deck i was out sitting with my mom and i could see one and I'm just like watching it. And it kind of like comes around the front and I like kind of go up to it to see how big it is. And it literally, it turns to me and then all of a sudden it goes whoop and then whee. Oh God. It must have been, I don't know, some sort of like parachute spider. I, I think I've seen them on like Charlotte's Web where they kind of like, they attach, they make a little balloon with spider webbing and then they just go whee on the wind. No. No, I don't I like it. Okay with that. I don't like it. No. I just kind of was like, at least you're not like Hunter. He sees a fly and he has a meltdown. He starts screaming and crying. We were oh. outside yesterday and we were eating like burgers and stuff for dinner, and a fly came and sat on like the little picnic table they have, and he just started screaming. He's like, "There's a fly! There's a fly!" And my like, hunter, we're outside. He lives out here. It's fine. And he like started calming down. He's like, "He's touching me!" And I'm like, "Just brush it away!" <laughs> oh my god. I don't like. I don't like flies either. They're mm. yeah, but still, like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> 
I'd be very happy to just go back to winter where all the bugs are dormant and hiding and I'm just, I don't have to worry about them. <laughs> no, I, as much as I don't like bugs, I also don't like the cold. So, mm -hmm. but if we didn't have winter, then we would be like Australia and have like massive bugs and like snakes and stuff. And I am not okay with that. No. I have gone almost my entire life without having to see a snake in the wild. I've seen them in the zoo, and even that, I can't handle it. I just, I can't. Like, I have this memory of being in the zoo, and we were, like, kids or something. It was a field trip. And they bring around the, like, big yellow snake for you to pet. Mm -hmm. I could not. I just, like, froze, petrified. I, I couldn't oh. do it. The only movie I can watch with a snake in it is Harry Potter. Like, I don't know why. That snake is totally fine. The like, basilisk? both the snakes. The basilisk and the the other one near the end of the series. Nagini. Yeah. No, actually, I can't I can't see her. That one I can't do. But the basilisk yeah. is totally fine. Because it doesn't look like a real snake. <laughs> it just looks like this giant thing. Yeah. I think it's because it has, like, the spikes and stuff. And it's just... I, I don't know. Fine. Thinking of it now is giving me like goosebumps, but like watching it, I'm totally fine. <laughs> but watching the other snake later in the movie, because it like those types of snakes are real and like that size of snake is actual, like a thing. Even though mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the basculus is based off like the anacondas and wherever. Mm -hmm. I just I can't. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, when we went to Kitchi, this was the only time I almost saw a snake in the wild. Mm -hmm. We went to Camp Kitchi, Camp Kitchiwana, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, so you know how the girls and the boys are separate on the island, like, for sleeping and stuff? Yeah. And so on the boys' path, like, from their um, cabins to the actual camp, there was apparently a Mississauga Rattler, like, just mm -hmm. right across the path. Mm -hmm. And one of the teachers had to, like, get a stick and, like, brush it away, and all the kids, like, ran and shit. But, like... I was, and they were all just like, oh, I think he's still there. Come on, girls, let's go see. And I'm like, nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> just like start walking back towards the cabin. <laughs> I just, because I'm pretty sure they wanted to leave, like, the one teacher was like, okay, well, we can go look, but we have to be careful. And the other teacher's like, I'm not going. And I'm like, I'm staying with you. Nope. I'm just going to sit here and eat my terrible eggs. Because they were like the, the powder eggs that you like make into eggs. And I was like, I'm just going to eat these really gross eggs. I'd rather do this than see a snake. Nope. I'll probably piss myself. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Nope, um, nope, 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 Yeah, there's a lot of Mississauga rattlesnakes there. I remember the time that I went, um, we were coming back from playing the game Stones, which was a very fun game where it was sort of like tag, but you had to go across the other person's um, section, grab a balled up tin foil, and run back to your side. It was really yeah. fun. We loved it. And we were heading back and we hear a bunch of commotion from, because we were on the boys side, I guess. And we heard a bunch of commotion from the bathroom and the, my girls and I were kind of just like, what, 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 what's going on over there? And one of the cam counselors comes to us and says, Oh, there was a rattler snake in the boys bathroom. And we're just like, huh. <laughs> Like, like I'm pretty know. sure I'm pretty sure when they told me that there was a snake I'm like wait there's snakes here why am I here <laughs> like I had a mini heart attack it was not good my like grade six I don't even know how old I was in grade six but like my little person heart was like I can't handle this I can't do it nope, nope. But did you have fun after that I had fun until that. Until and then, that. Okay. And then I was like, can I go home now? I don't I don't want to see a snake. I really don't want to see a snake. I loved Camp Kitchy. Like, besides, you know, the bugs and the snakes and such, it was so much fun. I remember seeing a, a real, like, an, a big turtle when I was fishing on the big fishing rock. And that was such a cool experience for me. Or was it canoeing? I can't remember if I was fishing or I was canoeing. It was one or the other. But yeah, we <laughs> saw... We saw a big turtle too, but and there was also like the nests, and they had to like put these little things around the nests, like a couple mm -hmm. of um, posts and some like caution tape. That way, nobody would disturb the nest. 
mm-hmm. and there was some like randomly like along paths and stuff like that near the beach and stuff and it was just like oh my god i'm pretty sure i have pictures of the nests because i just took pictures of everything because i had mm-hmm. like six disposable cameras with me when we went mm-hmm. and yeah it was it was great um, i took pictures of everything there's even a picture of this deer and it's like so pixelated because i zoomed in like or did i zoom in or did someone else take the picture i don't know but i have a picture of it and it's pixelated like crazy because whoever had taken the picture had zoomed in like crazy on mm-hmm. this deer yeah it was it was nice but yeah so we saw turtles i loved the canoeing like when we lost when we learned how to do canoeing and kayaking or whatever and then we had to go in like the really big boat and I wanted to paddle so badly, but I was, like, in the middle seat. Oh. And so you, if you're sitting in the middle seat, you obviously can't paddle, right? So the people on the mm-hmm. other side are paddling. I'm like, I want to paddle. <laughs> I want to do it so bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, we have some comments. Let's say. Um, hi. Hello. Lang- Langley. I don't know how to pronounce it. Haley, your turn to try. Langley. Um, is, that how- is it Langley? Langley Fall? Oh, maybe. maybe. That sounds... That sounds nicer than Langley. Um, <laughs> I can see the disgust on your face when you're talking about snake. Yes, I know. I cannot. I cannot. Um, I would be happy if snake can go extinct. Me too. Me too. I would be very content with that as well. <laughs> I like snakes. I'm not, like, I don't want them in my house or anything. But, and the big big ones kind of freak me out. Like, I, I still cannot see an anaconda without going the other way. But, like, little gardener snakes, I don't mind. Because we, they're, they're all over the place. And they're, like, they're so tiny and cute. So, <laughs> but Liz doesn't like them. So that's nope. okay. No. Nope. Okay. I think my fear of snakes started when I was a kid because, so we had this babysitter. And he was awesome because he would let us watch horror movies. And I was, like, five. I can see where this is going. <laughs> yeah, you can see where this is going. And we watched Anaconda. Like, all the movies. Back to back to back. And I was five. Which oh. we, like, yeah. Oh, I might have been a little older. I don't know. Andrew wasn't in kindergarten yet. And I think you're in kindergarten when you're four. So, yeah. I'm three years older than that. So, like, maybe mm-hmm. six, seven. Anyways, I was young. Right? And I'm watching these Anaconda movies. And then I'm pretty sure that's where... My fear of snakes happened, and I just, I can't. No, I can't do it. <laughs> I feel you, uh, girl. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, I can't. Ugh. Ugh. Let's I have a friend. I don't know if it was Amber. No, we're not changing the topic. We're stuck on it now. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was Amber or if it was somebody else, but they were saying they wanted to get a pet snake, and I'm like, I will never visit you. <laughs> never. Aww. Nope. Won't even go into your building. <laughs> nope. I have a friend of mine who has a pet tarantula and sometimes when my guard is down and like, I'll, I, if besides COVID, sometimes I would go to visit him and he would keep it in a separate room. And he's like, do you want to see um, my pet spider? And I go, nope, nope, nope. I will go out the door. Nope. Like, but- <laughs> small spiders are fine, but we had this one spider. It had crazy long legs. It wasn't a daddy long legs excuse me it was something else but it was black and like its body was maybe the size of like oh where's my camera my pinky nail like i don't know if you can see my pinky nail and my pinky nail <laughs> but its legs were the length of my finger and it was completely black and it was in like the shoe area and i'm like oh oh god and so i was so scared and i'm trying to like hit it with a shoe and then it falls and then it vanishes and two days later, it's on the other side of the house in my bathroom, and I try oh. to kill it, and I don't think I did. And I'm like, where did you go? But oh I haven't seen gosh. it since, so I'm like, stay away from me. I don't care. I don't care if you exist. Just stay in the walls or something. Don't come out. <laughs> you can stay in here. Just don't. Do not. Don't come near me. <laughs> yeah, like, small spiders are fine, because I can kill them and, like, flush them down the toilet or whatever. I don't care. But, like, big spiders freak me out. I'm like, yeah. You're too big. I don't like it. What did you eat? <laughs> what did you eat? <laughs> oh. I, I don't want to know. I've read Charlotte's Web. I know what spiders eat. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I felt so bad, but also not because it was really annoying. But there was this fly and it was bugging me all day, the one day, and then it got caught in a web and I saw the spider and I was like, I'm going to let you live a little longer. And I just left. <laughs> I was like, I'm not watching this, but I know what's about to happen. <laughs> And he was bugging me, so have at it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, that's it. Okay, so which one of us pronounced it right? <laughs> okay, um, do we want to do another sprint before we start talking about the creepy crawlies again? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me bring this up. Where is it? Okay. Right okay. So I have to restart it first. There we go. All right, so are we still good with 20 or do we want longer, shorter? Absolutely. Oh. Haley pronounced it right. Haley, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Langley. Langley? Langley? I keep saying Langley. It's not Langley. 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 Okay. I think of like um, the little ending of my name. So like L E Y. So Haley. Yeah. So kind of like Langley. Langley. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'll sorry. try to remember how to say it, <clears throat> but I'm awful with names. Like, I'm pretty sure the only reason I knew your name, Haley, was because oh, we might as well put the timer away for right now. Was because <laughs> because your brother would talk about you all the time, and Haley's brother is my age. For people who don't know, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, okay, cool, Haley. And then she like runs up to me one day. I think it was like grade eight day or whatever, where all the grade nines are gone to do like to do whatever with their parents at work, and then like the grade eights come in and check out the school. And this like small person runs up and hugs me and is like, Lizzie! and I'm like, who the hell is hugging me right now? And Amber was there and she was like, child, who is this child? Who does this child belong to? <laughs> and then Tyler walks up and he's like, Liz, this is Haley. And I'm like, oh, Haley, hi. Please stop hugging me. <laughs> I was a big hugger back then, and yes. I didn't realize that other people weren't. So when I yeah. hugged Liz, I didn't, I didn't get that. But. That's okay. I still hugged you back eventually. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, I just enjoyed it because, like, Tyler's my age, and then my brother is your age, really. Oh, my eyes are cheap. I just like that we were friends, and like our younger siblings were friends. I don't know. It, it entertained me. <laughs> it entertained me. Yeah, that's the only reason I knew your name. It took me three years to remember Amber's name, but we weren't really friends until grade 10, so it would have been like a year. Mm -hmm. But Amber doesn't remember me at all from grade 9, and I sat right next to her in half our classes. Aww. Yep. <laughs> like, I think first semester of grade 9, I sat beside her in math. I remember this. Don't ask me how I remember this. So I sat beside her in math. I sat in front of her in science. I sat across the room in English, so I understand that. And then she had French, but I had, like, learning strategies because I'm not good at French. Um, so that was our first semester. Second semester, I'm pretty sure it was similar. Like, we had two classes together, and we sat near each other in those two classes. <laughs> and then I'm like, how do you not remember me? We talked in the classes that we had together. We talked to each other. Aww. But I think it's because we weren't, like, properly introduced or anything. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. And then I actually met Tyler in grade nine English. I don't know if you knew that. We were randomly selected to be partners, him, Emily Ann, and I. Mm -hmm. So we had to, like, pick these clothespins, and they all had, like, colors and shit on them. And we had to get into groups with people who had the same clothespin color. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we became friends, was we were in this group, and I was trying to do the work. And Emily Ann was like, oh, we don't have to do work. And Tyler's just like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Tyler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm like, but we'll, we'll, we need to do this. <laughs> oh, me, when I was just like, I need to do all the work. And then eventually I was just like, I don't want to. I don't want to. It just kind of like slowly progresses and such. But yeah. It's all good. Oh, oh it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, we need to do the sprint. Otherwise, it's not a true writing sprint video. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll start in three, two, one, go.
Hello. Oh, there we go. Hi. <laughs> and how are we do? Good. I got David to grab the uh, laptop for me, so I've just been reading through a chapter and making little changes. Nice. Neat. How did you do? Um, I think I did good. I'm just sort of catching up on my rewrites for my Shimmer book, and I managed to highlight where I left off. I'm being, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Okay, so let's see if I highlight this. Do, 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 do. 222. Ooh, yeah. very nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't exactly have a word count, just because I'm reading through a chapter and making small edits. So I think I technically only writ, writ, written, like, four words. Mm -hmm. But I am... 626 words into the chapter. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just like reading through it and changing little things and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. I was, I was trying to figure out where to put the things. Welcome back. Hello. Oh, us? <laughs> I'm like, who are you welcoming? Yourself? Us? I don't know. I would I would leave us, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my desk is so messy and I'm trying to make room for like my keyboard and my mouse for this computer as well as like play the laptop down so it's not directly in front of me so I can actually see what's happening on the screen. Mm -hmm. yeah, which isn't a lot. It's just you. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, my microphone is way over there. Oh, go over there a little more. There we go. <laughs> trying to get myself situated but it doesn't work that way it's all good you guys of course well I have to make sure okay she has to make sure I have to make sure of these things <laughs> it's all good I'm slightly dense at times it's fine <laughs> Just shh. it's fine it's fine <laughs> excuse me Mm, dust fluffies. My house is so dusty. I'm just coughing up dust fluffies everywhere. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Have you had time to read anything for tonight? For tonight? Um, oh, yes. For the yeah, for tonight. Um, yeah. I know. All week, I'm like, I'm going to read everyone's stuff. I'm going to at least read Haley and Amber's stuff, because I know that I've been wanting to read that stuff for a long time, and I didn't. Like, I've been so focused on, like, trying to get this book ready for the next editor, and I'm just like, I haven't done anything. That's okay. You, you've, nice. been a, you've been a busy girl. You've got stuff of your own. Everybody's got stuff of their own. So yeah. if they don't, if they miss a little bit of reading, that's okay. It's, the group is for fun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. A little. I've missed a lot of reading. <laughs> like, so much reading. I think I'm all up to date with it. Whoop. I'm just bringing it back up just so that I can kind of, like, check myself. Let's just organize my desk here a little bit. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, like, I'm looking at what the Vampire's Fall that I submitted, which is now out of date because I already updated all of Acantha's chapters. And now I'm working through Kalasaurus chapters. But, like, no one has put anything... Like, no one's commented or done edits or anything, so I don't know. I'm so sorry. I forgot that you put Vampire's Fall up here. Um, <laughs> I will. I haven't been able to catch on that, but I can. I can, Don't give me that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can definitely read a little bit by tonight, and then um, if I have any comments, I will definitely let you know. But I don't know. I don't know if anybody's really updated. I don't know if Sarah or um, anybody else in the group has. I haven't heard from Amber's story yet, so. Yeah. Um, but everything is looking really awesome so far. You guys are so talented. Oh, so are you. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> It's just for fun, you know. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Although there's a like, secret part of me that's just like, I want to be a writer. Let's get this done faster. 
well, you are a writer because you write. But in order to be an author, you have to finish the book. And then that's the difference, Haley. That's the difference. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful because I have you who inspires me. And you literally know much more about the writing and the author life much more than me. So it's cool to kind of like gather information from you. <laughs> yeah, the author life. <laughs> What? Well, it's it's more than me. Trust me. <laughs> I just kind of like having an eraser. Mm-hmm. Like I don't I don't know what my daughter does, but it's gone. It's hollow in there. Did Rosalind do that? Yeah, I left it. I left it in the living room. And every time I leave a mechanical pencil in the living room, I don't know what she does to the eraser. But this is the second time. Like this is my other one. It has no eraser. Hmm. This is what it's supposed to have. Yeah. An eraser. Yeah. I don't know. Does she eat them? Does she hide them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is she your child? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Ask her next time. Be like, where'd you put this eraser? <laughs> she's two. She can't talk. Well, she's almost mm-hmm. three and she still can't talk. I got her to say yes yesterday and it was so cute. Oh my gosh, oh. So I was pushing her on the swing and I'm like, Rosalind, are you having fun? She's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, she said yes. And I'm like, damn it, damn it, she said yes. And he's like, no, she didn't. I'm like, yes, she did. And I kept pushing her and I'm like, Rosalind, are you having fun? She's like, I said yes. And I'm like, oh. And I told that and he's like, no, it didn't happen. And I'm like, are you not listening? Because he was like sitting right there. And I'm like, no. And he's like, no, I'm playing on my phone. I'm like, oh my God. And then, <laughs> After I pushed, kept pushing her, and I was like, Rosalind, are you having fun? And she's like, No. I'm like, Oh, I asked too many times. <laughs> but she was still like giggling and stuff. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't having fun. Make up your mind. <laughs> oh, sweet child. That's so cute. I do. Oh, and Timmy lost a tooth. Oh. Yeah. The tooth fairy almost forgot to come. Oh. That's no. awesome. But they did yeah. come. But, yeah, she did come. Aww. There's been other times where she doesn't come until the next morning mm. when the boys are downstairs. And I'm like, Timmy, did the tooth fairy come? And he'd be like, no. And I'm like, what? And I go check. And I'm like, Timmy, she came. The money's right there. And he's like, oh, she came after breakfast. And I'm like, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> the Easter bunny came late on uh, Easter, too. He came oh, after yeah. lunchtime. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, guys, you got to go upstairs. The Easter bunny's running late. He's about to come here. Oh. <gasps> like run upstairs and they hide under their beds which is hilarious <laughs> i love that yeah and then the easter bunny came and left and then i was like okay hey guys the easter bunny came mm-hmm. and then they come downstairs and they're like candy that's really oh, cute. That cute it was so cute oh. um bye guys i'm going to grab a nap happy streaming hey okay. have Thank fun you. have a good nap i Thank wish you i could for joining us <laughs> i wish i could just sleep forever I like not dead, had... just like sleep forever. Have you not had a nap yet? No, but I slept in. Like, I I slept in until like one thirty, and then I showered at 2. And then mm. I was, I didn't even have the stream set up yet. And I was like getting dressed and brushing my hair. And I sent you the, I set up the stream and I was in like, my PJ pants and like bra and my hair was still like out to here because it was all tangled and wet. And I like sent you the link and I was like, okay, I got to put on a shirt. I got to brush my hair. And so when I started the stream, my hair was still wet. It's dry now because I brushed mm-hmm. it and it's all dry. And it's like, Ooh. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, but it was like more curly when it was still wet. And I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> awesome. There's probably dust in it somewhere because I moved that uh, that that MacBook or no the iMac. I finally mm-hmm. moved it off my desk and it was just dust exploding from it. And I was like, "Oh God, this is gonna get everywhere." Oh. So as soon as we're done streaming, I need to get my attack my desk with my duster. Probably attack my hair because there's probably clumps in there. <laughs> and I need to do something with all of these kickstarters that I have to unbox maybe i'll just unbox them on camera and be like done <laughs> and then i'll figure out what to do with them later nice yes like, i'm thinking of doing shorts and just having like a cute little song over top of them or something because mm-hmm. i don't because 
the reason I haven't done the Kickstarter Thursday videos in a while is because they take a lot of editing, even though you mm -hmm. wouldn't think they do, but like, yeah. What yeah, editing can get procrastinating. Don't get to you first, right? Oh my God. She know you will. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know editing can sometimes it can seem so easy at the time and then when you get into it it's like oh my god there's so much work <laughs> it's it's weird that way yeah yeah I found my second round of edits was a lot more crazy than this round of edits because there was a lot of adding detail so I was pretty much like rewriting the entire story at one point because mm -hmm. I'm an underwriter so I write like the bare minimum and then I have to add everything so there's a lot Mm -hmm. um, but now it's just like changing little things mm -hmm. and like replacing some words to make people seem less romantically interested and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> so like, I don't know, this round of it so far is going faster, but Acantha didn't have a lot of work needing done. Like, let me show you my checklist. I have, she had those four squares for Acantha and everything else is like, this much is Calisora. Mm -hmm. ah, you can't think. This much is Calisora. <laughs> that down here is Farron. And then this is like a mix of everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's yeah. still good. Every yeah. little colored in or check mark is yes. awesome. Yes. Take just... that procrastination. <laughs> 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 yeah. And there was one day that I didn't get any writing done because I was like, so so tired mm -hmm. and i was like okay i need to take a mental health day because if i force myself to do this it's going to affect the rest of the month and it's just going to be bad yeah so bad. yeah yeah but it wasn't i had a sort of self-care day yesterday where i just um i just made myself some tea and i got a good book and i just curled up on the couch and i read and i'm just like ah i feel so much better <laughs> so nice. I have. I feel like I didn't. I haven't done that in like a while because mm. it was kind of just like I. I need to read. I just. I am in the re mood to read now. It kind of comes and goes. It's. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really been in the mood to read. Like I've been. There's so many books that I want to read, but that's the problem. Is there's so many that I want to read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's not good. Not good. Oh my God, there's dust up my nose. I have to sneeze. Oh, I hate oh, no. when that happens. Ugh. I was I'm trying tickling. to think of like. I'm like trying to tickle the roof of my mouth with my tongue to get it to go away. <laughs> that's how you do it? Huh. I always thought like that's, it's not for dust fluffies, but like when you're out in a campsite and you get those little tiny pieces of white ash in your eye or, um, and it stings, you'd say white rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits. To kind of yeah. like get them to go away. I don't know why. And it, it doesn't work. Let me tell you, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know why they told us as kids that that works, but it did not. Because I yeah. I worked uh, last year at a historical site and we had to have like multiple campfires around the place. So um, we would be setting fires or setting fires. We would be making little fires around the place a lot. And yeah. um Sorry, just we're going to be setting fires. Wait, what? No, that's not what I said. <laughs> no, but um, we would be making little, like, fires in these little pits. And sometimes the ash would get in our eye or the smoke would get in your eye. And it's just be like, this is fine. This is fine. Just move away. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching this person on TikTok. And they have, like, a bunch of weird, random, like, hacks for like, if you have a headache, you put your hands in ice water. Like, I don't know. It was just a bunch of weird things. And I don't know. I haven't tried any of them, but apparently they work. But yeah, for the sneezing thing, I think it's supposed to be like, if you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth, because it's like a, a sensitive pressure point mm -hmm. or something. But I find it only works if I like try and tickle the roof of my mouth with my tongue. Mm -hmm. It's weird, I know, but. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you something. So I need to stop cool. sharing that screen and share a different screen. One second. Share screen. Share. Okay. Share that. Oh. Okay. So it, I got someone to illustrate a chat or part of a chapter from Red's Heart. Oh, this is Red's Heart? Yeah. Uh, like, they're making out and shit. So that's, uh, 
Jet and Violet. And oh, so we like nice. go behind the school. It doesn't really look like a school in the drawing. It kind of looks more like a ancient ruin. But they go behind a school and they're like making out and shit. And then uh, Asher shows up and ah. she gets all pissy. Yeah. <laughs> That is all. <laughs> I just had to share it. Who's the artist? Um, someone off of Fiverr. Ooh. I forget their name. <laughs> That's really cool. It's very. I like the manga style of it. I know, right? I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Very cool. I know. <laughs> I agree. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, yeah, it costed a bit, so I want to get them to do the entire first book mm -hmm. yeah and then i have to write the second one still uh, uh. in good time girl in good time the only problem is that like my style has evolved since then and i have a feeling that if i go to write the second one i'll have to rewrite or not rewrite but like go back and like change the style of the first one to match it so it's just like ugh. And, like, it's a good standalone story, but at the same time... You want there to be more. Yeah, like, I have more shit that's supposed to happen. That I want mm -hmm. to happen. Yeah. Because I originally wrote it as a standalone, and I was like, ooh, this could happen next. And I was like, okay, this is no longer a standalone. Part one. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep adding to it. Yeah. And I have, like, so part two, I don't know if it's going to be part two or part two and three. It depends, like, how long it's going to be and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's like that's not even like close on my to do list because right now the Vampire's Fall is obviously at the very top, and then Haunted Days book one is the next because mm -hmm. it's already done. And I just have to go through and add stuff and stuff, do a bunch of developmental edits, and then all the other edits. And then mm -hmm. I want to start writing the second book for like the sequel for the Vampire's Fall. And, but it's, like, a long series. Like, so mm -hmm. long. Because there's the main trilogy, and then there's a prequel duology, and then, like, a follow-up book mm -hmm. after. And, like, uh, it's just a lot of work. <laughs> One step at a time. Just I know. My, take it. my, like, lazy brain is just like, you know, that's a lot of work. Yeah. So I kind of want to, like, focus on the trilogy, and then do the other three books kind of later, but not too much later. Because mm -hmm. I also want to get Orphan done. And it's it's technically a standalone, but it, it's also a duology because they're like companion novels. Mm -hmm. Ugh. And then Haunted Days is also a trilogy. It's just too many. And I have too many ideas. Too I many. know. Too I many. Know. But when you kind of like, just focus it on your Vampire's Fall right now because that's your big... That's your that's your child right now, so <laughs> metaphorically speaking. <laughs> but um, so you want to make sure that you get that done. You make sure that that's nice and beautiful and whatnot, and then you can focus on other stuff. Yeah. I know. I feel that where I'm I'm working on Shimmer and I'm trying to focus on like the one book, but I also have like so many other ideas. Like I have this entire I have this entire steampunk fairy tale retelling idea in my brain and it's like multiple books so like for each fairy tale so there's a little mermaid there's sleep beauty there's rapunzel and i'm just like oh i want to do these so badly but that's another thing oh my god <laughs> like the ones i just mentioned which is orphan haunted days and then like the creatures of the night series which is the vampire's fall those are like my top priority oh god messy guess that's like <laughs> Those are, like, my top three. But then I also have, like, that dragon book, the Dragoo oh, series, yeah. that like, the duology that I want to do, that mm -hmm. I already have the covers for. And then there's also, like, I have a retelling story, but, like, the first book is told from, like, the evil queen's perspective. And, like, the second one is from, I don't even remember. Oh, fairy godmother perspective. Oh. And it's, like, LGBTQ. That one oh, is, is, like... It? Yeah. Um, and then the third one is, oh God, <laughs> the third <laughs> one is, I think is the genie, genie's perspective. Oh yeah. 
And then I was thinking of doing one from like Ursula's perspective. And then I also have an idea for one for, um, I don't know whose perspective, but I want it to be like the Swan Princess meets Golden Goose kind of story for like the Golden Egg or something. So cool. I would love to read a book like that. Right. And I'm just like, oh, those sound so much fun. And then I also have The World Without Sun, which is a serial. And then I have two other serials I want to do. And I'm just like, brain, stop. And <laughs> so many like, ideas. Oh. Maybe like 80 before I can think of any new ideas. Because <laughs> I have right. so many. I, I'm set for life now. I just have to sit down and do them. Sure. Yeah, that's the that's the big one is like sitting down to do it, and it's like ah, but there's so much other stuff to do. But no, I want to write this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm bad because I buy my covers first before mm -hmm. the book is done, which normally people don't do that till like the book is done. Um, yeah, but I, I'm that good. I buy it, and then like. That way, I'm set in stone. I'm like, okay, I have to do this now. It needs to be written. And then also, yeah. like, it's something pretty to look at when I'm writing. When I don't have, like, the motivation, I'm like, oh, the pretty cover. It's so pretty. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. You just, you get so excited about thinking right. about it. And then you just, you see this and you're just like, I want this. Let me get it. <laughs> oh, there's no want. It's a need. I need it. <laughs> you just, you need it. Yeah, I think the only book that I'm working on right now that I don't have a cover for is Haunted Days mm -hmm. because the artist won't do... Because So from middle grade, because it's a middle grade story, the covers are drawn, like actual art, like not digital. So for my middle... For, for my young adult and my uh, new adult stories or adult stories, whatever, um, they're, they're art as well, technically, but they're like taking images and like editing them and adding cool stuff and drawing over them and stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas the middle grade is completely drawn. Like I'm pretty sure it's like digitally painted kind mm -hmm. of thing. So it's like a different type of art and they can't edit the spine as easily. So they have to do it all in one go, like the whole drawing in one thing opposed to like with another one or opposed to like with doing images where you can like stretch and like modify the spine easier you yeah. can't do that if the picture is already drawn you know what i mean mm -hmm. I, I see that yeah i understand yeah, you, that you picking up what i'm putting down yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> good good but yeah so like I can't do that cover until later because she won't even do like an ebook cover for me until like the whole book is done and I have an exact word or page count and stuff for the spine and stuff. So that's the only one I don't have. And I keep being like, but I want it, <laughs> but I want it. <laughs> and I'm like, are you sure we could, I could just do the ebook right now. She's like, no, I need the spine. And I'm like, Oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. then. <laughs> okay. I will hold off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then also the comic artist because haunted days is being made into a middle grade book and then also a comic book or like graphic novel or whatever and even she won't do the cover until the whole book is done and i'm like Aww. no Sandra, why they know you liz i know they're like i know they know me they're just like no liz no we're not going back and fixing this uh spine later we're we're doing this right and i'm like i don't want to do it right i just want to do it this way i want to do it my way because i want to cover now <laughs> yeah and now all in good time yeah mm -hmm. oh and i also don't have the cover for world without sun yet because that's a lot of covers and i'm a poor bitch. <laughs> I'm broke. Um, but yeah, so like, because I need so many covers for that because it's a, a serial. So like, the I need eight covers in total, but I would need like four up front and then four later just for the ebooks. And then the two paperbacks have totally different covers and they are a full wraparound. So mm -hmm. I need those cost more. And I'm like, Ugh. so I need to do the four and a wraparound and then the four and then another wraparound. I love swirly chairs. <laughs> they make talking with my hands so easy, but you can't even see me talking with my hands because it's down here. I know. I'm doing that too. You can see, kind of see like, <laughs> you can just kind of like see your ears moving while we're talking. Shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Um. But yeah, so I have to get those covers done. But I don't know. It was high priority. So I'm like, oh my god, I finally know what I'm doing with the story and everything. And then I made the mistake of plotting out the entire story. And now I'm like, well, now I know what happens. So I don't want to write it. And I'm just like, mm. So it doesn't help that you know what happens at the end? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Yep. That's another reason that it took me so long to finish writing this book. Is because I knew how the first book was ending. And I'm like, hmm. Like, I have no idea how I'm ending the last book. So it's kind of exciting still to still write the second and third book. But, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Because I have no idea how I'm... I don't even know how I'm starting the second book because of all the things that have to happen. Mm -hmm. And the things that have to happen in between the first and the second book. And I'm like, well, should I do, like, a short story in between? <laughs> or, like, I don't know. So many things. So many things. Yeah, I have a rough idea of how I'm doing it, but... Anytime I go to do it, I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, God, kill me. Too many. Too many ideas. Too many things. Too many things happening. So, yeah. So, my plan is finish this book. Take a break because my brain is going to explode if I read any more about these characters. <laughs> that's that's but, a mood. <laughs> yeah. Editing is torture. Um, and then I'm going to work on Haunted Days for a while. And then when I get sick and tired of that shit, I'm going to go back to this. Start the second book get instantly tired of that, and then go back to Haunted Days. Yeah, Haunted Days doesn't have a release date. Technically it does. It was set to release two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. We sort of have to kind of like work with what we the got. stuff, what we got. Yeah, basically. And yeah. because yeah. this these past two years were just absolutely nuts and Maybe Nobody. Like three years ago now. Oh my god. Because I did what? a Kickstarter and like, because it was a Kickstarter for the comic book mm -hmm. or the graphic novel or whatever. And people were supposed to get it January of 2019, I think. Mm. Yeah. We're in 2021 now. It's like, oh my god. I've been keeping them updated though. So like sending them the chapters, like the art and stuff as it comes in, which reminds me I have to send them the rough art. But yeah, for chapter three. Yeah. Sounds good. Please forgive my dog. He is barking at my dad right now. So if you hear barking, just that's Tucker. He's fine. I hear barking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. But yeah, I have like so many, so many, so many things. So many One thing at a time. Yep. I try to tell myself that too. It doesn't always work, but yep. will they ever make me money? Who knows? But I have Who so knows? many things. <laughs> so many books. So many books to write. Oh if God. you're passionate like if you're set and passionate about it, I think you will. I think you'll make so much money. I'll be there to just with little pom poms just cheer you on. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I okay. just need to buy pom poms and just. I was just going to say, we need to buy you some pom poms for your birthday. And every time we have a live stream and I start being like, oh my God, I hate my life, you just be like, hey, Lizzie. Go, Lizzie. Woo. <laughs> just like start waving pom poms into the camera. And I'm like, oh my God. One of these, why, maybe. Why did I buy these for you? We need to set a live stream, okay? We need to set a live stream where I just bring pom poms and I'll just be like cheering y'all on. Whoa. <laughs> I can so do that. <laughs> oh yeah you know what i just realized what the vampires fall goes for pre-order on my birthday and my birthday's in three weeks <gasps> <gasps> does that mean should i pre-order it or yes yes <laughs> i mean obviously that. yes yes <laughs> i mean obviously yes but yeah. would well, that the make e the ebook is going for pre-order on may 1st uh -huh. i don't know if I'm going to do pre-order for hard copy and soft yet. So I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. It depends on if Ingram spark is an asshole or not. I mean, <laughs> no, no, that's what I mean. We love Ingram spark. <laughs> I don't know yet. I haven't worked with them long enough to decipher if I've loved them or not. <laughs> oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll find Talk. out. Yes. Yeah. I'm so hoping to do a, uh, proof from them soon. Mm -hmm. Probably after this round of edits, I'm gonna 
because I'm using Vellum right now, so I'm going to export and then send some proofs their way and be like, yo, send me a book. Do you mind just looking at this and just kind of like slowly slide it towards them? <laughs> like, hello. Yeah. I have something for you. Print <laughs> this. Print it. Print this and ship it to me. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> We've talked a lot this episode. I, I find that every time we do writing sprint things, like one will be mostly talking and then the next one will be like four writing sprints minimum. And the next one is all talking and then it's all sprints again. <laughs> Well, you know what? It's because I have not seen you in a while, and I, I like know. talking to you. I know. Oh, I there are moments you. where I like talking, sometimes not so much, but I just like talking to friends, and it's nice. it makes me feel good. So, <laughs> so I don't mind to talk. It's okay. Good, good. Yeah, <laughs> and like especially right now during COVID and stuff, we need to to feel good. We need to socialize. Like, yeah. Like, we just went into another lockdown. Sorry, it's not a lockdown. It's a stay-at-home order. Right, yes. Yes, because apparently there's a difference. I still call it a lockdown. I yeah, it's a, it's a lockdown. Like, they opened, I think what they did was they opened the outdoor, um, like, for the restaurants, the patios, but then they closed them again. Mm -hmm. And then we're allowed to go golfing. Like, we're I don't to go golfing, really? Apparently, yeah. Because apparently it's essential. I under kind of understand because it's outdoor. Like if it's only outdoor golfing, I understand that. Like mini putt, like indoor mini putt is obviously a no go. But mm -hmm. like, I don't know. It's just weird. I know. I, don't understand it. I know that like all in like in or out restaurants are closed except for takeout. Mm -hmm. um, you're not allowed to have a social distance get together with anyone no. um what else uh i'm completely blanking but basically yeah you're just supposed to stay at home unless you have to go out for like basic necessities like groceries or stuff and yeah and always keep your mask on and yeah, yeah I've, I've been seeing people like not wearing their mask and it's kind of just like excuse me I, I, what happens Mask. I think there's there's a bit of controversy about wearing them outside, just because like you're outside, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I know when I drop my kids off, I don't leave, so I get out of my car, but I don't leave the area of my car, so I'm not going around people, so I don't wear my mask. But like mm -hmm. I pretty much put the kids' backpacks on, put on their masks, give them hugs, send them away, and watch. Mm -hmm watch them as they head to their two different areas and then I get back in my car and I drive away. Mm -hmm. So I don't wear a mask to that, but like when I go pick up the kids, I have to actually walk to the kindergarten yard to get Hunter. So I have to put on my mask because I'm going near people. Mm -hmm. Even though it's still outside. So I don't know. I I don't I don't know. <laughs> but thankfully Mar our March break is happening this week. So I don't have to worry about that. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Yay! Yay, kids are going to be home all the time. I'm going to go crazy. At least we're not doing homeschool during March break. I don't I don't understand why they moved March break. I really don't. Because, like, the whole reason they moved it was because kids were home longer after winter break, after Christmas break, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that they were still doing school when they were home during mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. Like, they were doing the online school. Yeah. So why would they push back spring break if they were still doing school? Like they still need that mm -hmm. break, and so do the teachers. Like they were still getting paid and still teaching. I, 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 don't know. I guess because they wasn't sure, like with the whole lockdowns and such. I guess they just they weren't sure about it. It's all just a big jumble of mess and such. Yeah. And then I also heard that because they moved back March break, they might also move back summer break, like the start of summer vacation. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm like, why? They were still doing school. Hmm. Like, I don't know. I don't know, Haley. I don't know either. I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you, but I, I don't know it's either. Good. It's all good. <laughs> it's it's confusing. I just I just stay at home and look outside and go. This is fine. 
<laughs> Everything is fine. Just grab my little cup and just go, this is fine. Yeah, like if I didn't have kids, I I really wouldn't mind all this. I'd be like, yep. Yeah. Now going outside, didn't do that before anyways. <laughs> but I have, I have kids, it. so like I have to worry about school. And it's like, nah. <laughs> just angry yeah <laughs> it works it's not good uh, okay do we want to do one more sprint before we get off or do we just want to talk for another like 20 minutes I'd be good for doing another sprint if you want yeah. to okay. right. no one else is talking to us in the chat so I guess we're not special <laughs> oh no 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 I'm ah, just I keep pushing the rest. oh it's because I didn't I know <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't reconnect our uh, our uh, timer. There we go. Got that. There we go. There it is. Hi, timer. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. So I got to stop in three, two, one, action.
There you go. Hello. Close that. Hey. Hey. Sorry. I was trying to kind of like set my computer up on my legs so that you can see my face, but you don't see my double chin. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've I got a little bit of that happening right now. Yeah, me too. Oh. Hello. Hello. You joined us near the end. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, so how did you do, Haley? Um, I did, I think, good. I'm really, I was kind of just like struggling. There were moments where I'm just kind of like, mm. just because um, I'm trying to explain how the magic and timing wise kind of like connects from the fairy world to the human world. And it's, it's harder to explain than I thought it was in my head. So, um, but I did write, let me see how much, do, 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 do. 163 words. So still pretty good. <laughs> Just sort of trying to get it out there. I read through the rest of the chapter, which was 497 words. I didn't change too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just a few little things. And then I found so many capital I's that I turned into lowercase. <laughs> because I don't know why, but like the window Windows computer kept like making them all capital I's. I don't I don't know why. But I don't know. So I fixed all those. And I made a few little changes and then I was looking at the next chapter and that's where I have to make a lot of big changes. And mm -hmm. I'm I, I kind of put that off. Um, I ended up just kind of hanging out for a little bit. I was like, I, yeah, I'll, I'll just procrastinate for a minute. It's fine. One minute turned into 13. Um, that's okay. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I did. <laughs> but I finished the one chapter, so that's good. I'm hoping to do two more maybe after our meeting tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I'll be at the ball scene. Oh, yay. I know. I know. I love that scene too. I like it just because it's a ball. It's the ball. I just, for some reason, I don't know, but I love masquerade balls. I've always wanted to go to one and just reading about them is so fascinating and so exciting. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Speaks to the Victorian lover in me. Mm. All those like beautiful ball gowns, and crystal chandeliers, and you've got vampires in yours, so that just that just sweetens right. the deal a little bit. <laughs> I got glow in the dark flowers. Because <gasps> I described the ballroom a little bit more, so like the there's like these massive windows that look out at the garden, and because everything happens at nighttime, I had to make the flowers that are in the garden more pretty, so they all glow blue. And so it like oh. brings in blue light. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so I pretty. love it. Oh, I'm so excited to reread it. <laughs> <laughs> it. They're in the edits that are uh, currently in the the group thing. So mm -hmm. yeah, so you can read it. It's there. I'll get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just skip everything. Go right to the ball. Bossing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when you read Acanthus stuff from the ball scene, I changed it. It got a little too spicy, so I had to, like, reel it back a bit. Yeah. 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 Headphones. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. So I'm, I'm slowly working through it. I just could. I just could. Little progress. I keep looking at it, and I'm just like, ugh. Ugh. I know, like, some days I'm just gonna, like, look at my Word document and be like, I've got nothing. I don't want to do this. I'm just... The nice thing about editing is it's already there. You just gotta make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. But as you're writing it, you're just like, Ugh. But then again, as you're editing, you're also like, <laughs> Be done already. Yeah. I'm done reading you. <laughs> Actually, I do have a question before you before we leave. I don't know how much longer um, we've got on this, but I wanted to ask you this beforehand. Yeah. Um, so I've seen that you are starting, like you're doing your 
it's not Nanaimo. It's what is it called? Nine Nanaimo. <laughs> Uh, Nanaimo, <laughs> Nanaimo bars. No, Nanaimo um, bars. Nanarimo, 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 Nanarimo. Okay, so I've National seen the novel East writing Coast. month, and this is um, they have two camp Nanarimos. So there's April, and then it's either June or July is the other one. Ooh. So that's where you set for that month. You set any goal you want. Whereas, like in November, the goal is to write a novel. A fifth, no, is to write fifty thousand words in that month whereas in april and either june or july i forget which one it is the you set your own goals so it could be like to do editing could be to write a certain amount for that month it could be whatever you want pretty much mm -hmm. okay yeah so can you kind of like organize your goals so say like if i wanted to start nanarimo not nanaimo <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna call it nanaimo just just for okay <laughs> All right. Um, so if I wanted to start it and I'm sort of like a quarter of the way done through the beginning of my rewrites to shimmer, can I still go into this? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. The camps aren't as, um, strict as the actual like November one. Mm -hmm. So you can start at any point. You can set mini goals, like from, Let's say the first to the tenth, you want to do this on this one project, but then from like the eleventh to the whatever, you want to do a different project. So you can set like mini goals, which is mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know because I was wondering about that, and I'm just like, I kind of want to do this, but I'm kind of scared because I've, I've got other stuff other than my writing, and I'm just kind of like, can I do this? Yeah, so, I think yeah. it's mostly like novel based because. When you set your goals, it's either writing or editing. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. But I'm sure you could do, like, you could put edit it. You could just put in whatever, like, I'm editing, but maybe you're actually, like, drafting or something. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just whatever. Or I just said editing and drafting, but I think drafting is writing. So you could be, like, planning. So, like, setting up cue cards and stuff, and you could be doing that opposed, and just put, like, editing or something. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But, yeah, it's I'm not as strict as the november one okay yeah that's good to know thank you yeah. yes you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> and do you enjoy nanorimo yeah i i like it because it's kind of like an accountability thing i use the website all all year round now for keeping track of my word counts mm -hmm. and i just i like it because it's just like oh you have to be done by this date it's like okay and then it tells you like how many words a day you have to write and it gives you little like achievements which i am an achievement seeker so like um it there's like achievements for how many days in a row there's achievements for word count and mm -hmm. just stuff like that and then there's also like self-opposed achievements you can put on so like um i forget what they are but like there's a whole bunch of those and yeah it, i just like it it's fun Awesome. Yeah. All right. I'm that. Yay. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I think that's all we got for today. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So we so, will see. Oh, uh, yes, we should plan for the next one. I was about to say we should probably do that. Yeah, and then not show up for it like last time. My goodness. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. <laughs> that was my fault too. Um, so do we want to do another one this month or do we want to go into May? What do you want to do? Hmm. So today's the 10th of April. Um, what would you feel comfortable with doing? I'm fine with whatever. Um, mm -hmm. on the first, I'm already doing my like monthly updates and goals video that one so if you wanted to do oh my like, ears plugged me um, if you wanted to do oh my god if you wanted to do um sprints at three we could do that okay and when was that that was the first my birthday okay, okay. <gasps> exciting <laughs> we, can sort of, we can sort of do like a little birthday live stream if you like Yay. yeah we could do that yeah okay yeah. Sounds like a plan. And at three, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Should we call it writing sprints or should we just call it like birthday live stream or what do you want to do? Because we could still do sprints during it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Either way, we'll say we're doing a live stream at three on May 1st. Sounds good. All right. Three o'clock. I'll just put that in my phone. Here we go. Ah, why did I put it for noon? No, don't do that. <laughs> I hate when your phone does that. I know, because I always put the time first and then I name it. And if I have something, I don't know. I don't understand. All right. Mm. Okay. I need to go eat. All right. I'll talk to you later. Or I'll okay. talk to you tonight. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, guys.